Hello everyone, and welcome to the Narcosis channel, and let's continue the third ECG subject, ECG grid and normal values. And we will continue the sixth way to enjoy our life as Albert Camus said in his book. The Six Ways to Enjoy Your Life There is no question of heroism in all this. It is a matter of common decency. That is an idea which may make some people smile, but the only means of fighting a plague is common decency. In the last lectures, we have talked about the ECG grid and the normal P QRS complex. In this lecture, we will continue with the normal values of the T wave. The T wave is a large rounded wave produced by the rapid phase of ventricular repolarization. The T wave is normally upright in most leads, with certain exceptions. It is invariably inverted in lead AVR, along with inversion of the P wave and QRS complex. Also, it is often inverted in lead V1, occasionally in lead V2, V3, and sometimes in lead 3. The normal T wave is taller in lead V6 than in lead V1. The amplitude of the normal T wave does not generally exceed 5 mm in the limb leads and 10 mm in the precordial leads. Why T wave is positive wave? So, to understand this, we have to understand how ventricular cells get depolarized and repolarized. So let's review the ventricular depolarization that will start with the septal depolarization which occur from left to right and upward. Usually this will be represented by small Q wave. After that, we will proceed with the major depolarization of the left ventricle toward the apex of the heart. And this will be represented by major positive R wave in most of ECG leads. At the end, we have the rest of the right ventricle and the upper portion of both ventricles in way opposite to the apex. This is the S wave that follows the R wave. And if we put the recording electrode near the apex and different to the base of the heart, we will observe that most of the ventricular depolarization occur toward this recording electrode. So it pick a positive wave. And we will think, that after the depolarization, the repolarization occur on the same manner toward the apex, but with opposite charges. So it is supposed that it will record a negative wave as this inverted T wave, but this is actually wrong. Yes, repolarization occur with opposite charges, but in fact it doesn't occur toward the apex, it occurs away from the apex which means that the last cell to be depolarized is the first cell to repolarize. So I want to understand what actually happened and why T-wave is positive in most of ECG leads. Okay, let's take a close look to the wall of the ventricle. The inner wall of the heart is called the endocardium and the outer wall of the heart is called the epicardium. If we connect the electrodes and put the recording on the outer surface, we will see the following first before the depolarization. Myocardial cells carries a positive charges on the outer surface of both electrodes, the recording electrode and the indifferent electrode. So there is no electrical difference between both electrodes and a baseline is drawn in ECG paper. Then, when the myocardium start to depolarize, it start from the endocardium to the epicardium and the first cells get depolarized, and the charges become negative on the outer surface of the depolarized cells. So the net result is that the recording electrode is recording a positive deflection on the ECG indifferent to the other electrode, which is the QRS complex. This is due to the resting cells still have the positive charges on the outer surface indifference to the depolarized cells which carries the negative charges on the outer surface. After that, when the whole myocardial cells become depolarized, all of the cells will carry a negative wave on the outside, and there will be no difference between the two electrodes, 
and for the second time baseline will be drawn on the ECG paper, the ST segment. Then we will start the confusing part, so please don't concentrate with me. <laughs> we think that after the depolarization, the repolarization occur on the same manner of depolarization, which means that repolarization will start from the endocardium to the epicardium, and with negative charges on the outer surface on the recording electrodes in difference of the other electrode. And this is supposed to draw a negative T wave on ECG paper, but this is actually wrong. Actually, when depolarization ends, repolarization start in opposite way of depolarization, which means that the last cell to be depolarized is the first cell to repolarize. And repolarization will start from the epicardium toward the endocardium, and the recording electrode will record the positive charges of the cells that become in the resting phase in difference to the other electrode. And this cause a positive T wave because of the opposite charges and opposite direction. After repolarization end, again there will be no difference between the two electrodes due to that all cells carries a positive wave on the outer surface, and for the third time baseline will be drawn on the ECG paper. The TP segment, let's take an example of these events on lead two, lead two looks to the heart from the apex, with the recording electrode located near the apex in difference to the base of the heart. The depolarization of the heart will start with atrial depolarization, and that will be drawn as positive P wave in lead two. Then we will have the AV nodal delay that represented by PR segment. After that, we will have the depolarization of the ventricles, which occur also toward the apex of the heart, and this will draw a large positive QRS complex on this lead. Then, we will have the repolarization of both atrium, and as it is weak and has no net vector, it will not be drawn on ECG paper. After that, we will have the repolarization of both ventricles with opposite direction and opposite charges away from the recording electrode, so also it will draw a positive T wave. And this story will be repeated on the next cycle. So we have finished the ECG grid and the normal P wave and the QRS complex and the T wave values, and we will continue our talking about the normal ECG values in the next videos. And now let's jump to the question of this day. Why repolarization occurs in opposite way to depolarization? Thanks for watching. I will be more than grateful if you press the like, subscribe button, and share this video with your colleagues. If you have any suggestions to improve my channel, leave a comment and let me know, please. See the description below for the newest updates and for more infos. Also don't forget to follow us on other social media sites. Keep your narcotic dose and good luck.